Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Swamp Nil asks, how many teams should be built? I actually, I actually like this question a lot. There we go. So, what are we, six minutes in now? Swamp Nil is, is asking how many teams should be built. The, the most teams that you'll ever need is three teams. Okay, and that is for the Grand Arena. Right, you have three teams in the Grand Arena, 15 total heroes. What I recommend most people to do is to focus on one team and only one team uh, until level 100, level 90, level 100 or so. And then start working on team two and team three. What I also actually recommend is to only focus on two teams, team one and team two. And these are these are poor examples. These are just heroes that I've just thrown in here. Focus on two teams, and then a third team made up of support heroes. So for example, for example, my, my Grand Arena team, <clears throat> my, my, my A squad in Grand Arena right now is Cleaver Kark, Nebula, Peppy, and Martha. And my team two right now is Astaroth, Celeste, Kai, Jorgen, and Faceless. And I did this just because I, you know, I've invested all of my energy into my top five heroes, and then I've got a next five, and these are just my next five strongest. And my third squad is filled with heroes that I will sub in based on other circumstances. So Rufus, I would sub in Rufus for other uh, other circumstances into my main team. Same thing with Sebastian, Cornelius, Dorian, and Helios. All of these heroes, I would sub in to my main teams for other reason. Now I'm slowly leveling up my Aurora Leon team for my team two. Um, but that's, so So what I recommend is, is focus on one team until level 100-ish. Focus on two teams, you know, once you're past level 100, and then the third team that you build, build it full of support heroes that you would swap into team one or team two, depending on who you're going up against in the grand arena. But never focus on more than three teams and I don't want to focus on more than one team until level 100 or so. That's that's kind of how I that's kind of how I go about whenever I whenever people ask me, you know, when when they should start building their green arena team and, and how they should focus on it. Because the thing is, the thing is, is if you go up against the, you know, if you go up against somebody that has two really strong teams, let's take a look at um, <clears throat> let's take a look at Gabriel here. Okay, actually, this is this is a bad idea. Let's so if we look at Dragon King here. You can see that his his line one is got has got a couple of weak heroes in it. His Arachne and his Kai are lower, but his team two and his team three are both maxed out. Has a couple of red heroes in here. A couple of uh, um, they're all level one thirty. So so you might think, okay, one one of these teams is an easy win. Team one here is an easy win for me because they've got a level 84 Arachne and a level 77 Kai. This is an easy win. But the problem is, the problem is, is then what other team do you need to beat? Do you try to beat team two or do you try to beat team three? So <clears throat> if you have two really strong teams, that is 10 heroes that are very strong and then just one third throwaway team, then people that are attacking your grand arena team are going to have a harder time because they have to they have to beat one really weak team sure but then they have to beat one really strong team and instead of an, instead of spreading your resources across 15 heroes you're spreading your resources across 10 heroes and those those 10 heroes are going to be a third stronger than somebody that invested all resources across 15 heroes i don't know this is just this is just my opinion i think it's a great question though i think it's a really good question so thank you for Thank you for asking that.